In today's video, I'll be unboxing, setting up, and reviewing the Mural Canvas 2 by Netgear. The Mural Canvas 2 is a dedicated digital display frame to display art, artistic photography, and even just regular photos. The Canvas 2 is currently available in two sizes, 16 by 24 with a screen size of 21.5 inches diagonally and 19 by 29 inches with a screen size of 27 inches. It also comes in four different frame finishes, black, white, dark wood and light wood. I'm going to be looking at the 21 and a half inch version with a black frame. Now it's important to remember when picking the right size of canvas that the sizes Netgear specifies for the device are the overall size of the frame. For example, my unit measures 16 inches by 24 overall and the screen size is 21 and a half inches. The device is also less than two inches deep when mounted to a wall, not obtrusively bulky or thick. Let's first get the device out of the box and set it up. Once you open the box up, you'll find a card that reminds you that you need to get the Mural app for your device. We'll get to that soon. Next, you'll see the Canvas 2, which is wrapped and sandwiched between two foam end caps. You want to get it out of the box and unwrap it. We'll get back to it in a moment. Once you remove all the other cardboard supports, you'll see a small box which contains quite a few important items, like some useless legal documentation, the power cable, the wall anchors, the mounting plate with a built-in level, and a pad that you can use to lean the device against. Now let's start by prepping the Canvas 2 for setup. You want to first place the unit face down on a table or sturdy surface. It's advisable to place the thin rectangular piece of packing foam on the table before placing the unit face down on the table. This protects the frame from getting scratched up. Next, you're going to need to get hold of a small flat screwdriver. A butter knife will also work. In case you don't have a screwdriver, press and hold the tab on the compartment on the back of the unit and gently pry it upwards with your screwdriver or butter knife. Remove the compartment and set it aside. Removing the cover reveals a power jack and an ethernet jack in case you don't want to use Wi-Fi to connect to the device. Now plug the power connector into the power jack and route the cable through the slot in the middle. Now route the power adapter through the hole in the center of the compartment cover. Now put the compartment cover back in and press down till it snaps into place. Now you want to lean the canvas to against a wall. Plug the power adapter into a wall outlet and then power the device up to test it before we wall mount it. To power the device up, there's a power button on the bottom left hand edge of the frame. As you look for that power button, you'll notice that there's an SD card slot and a micro USB port inside a compartment right next to the power button. More about the SD card slot in a minute. Once the Canvas 2 powers up and goes through its boot sequence, it'll display this message that asks you to download the Mural app. That's all the testing we need to do for now. Let's now work on the wall mount. You'll need the following tools, a tape measure, a pencil, a 3 8 inch drill bit, an electric drill, a hammer or mallet, a screwdriver and a stud finder. The first step is to find a place on your walls to mount the canvas. When choosing a spot, you want to make sure there's a wall outlet somewhere close to the spot so you can plug the device in once it's mounted. Netgear recommends that you mount the device at least 60 inches from the floor. Measure about 60 inches from the floor with a tape measure and mark the spot gently with your pencil. Grab your mounting plate and place it against the wall at the level you just marked with the liquid level facing you. Make sure the bubble indicator on the level is centered between the two lines. This ensures that the mount is leveled out. Using your pencil, mark the positions of the two holes on the mount. It's important to remember that you don't need to change the orientation of the mount if you decide to change the orientation of the frame. The mount stays in the same place. The frame is simply hung in a different orientation. You can also choose the optional swivel mount that allows you to quickly change orientations. I'll leave a link to that mount below the video in case you're interested. This is where the stud finder comes in. You want to do a deep scan of the marks on the wall to make sure there are no studs or electrical conduits that you might damage when you drill into the wall. If you need a stud finder that has the capability to do this, I'll leave a link right below the video. Put your 3 8 inch drill bit into your electric drill and drill through the drywall. Now place your anchors into the holes and tap them into the drywall using your hammer or mallet till they're flush with the wall. Grab your screws and attach the mount to the wall. Pay close attention to the orientation of the mounting plate. Make sure the liquid level is on top. And if any of this seems tricky or complicated, it's best to have a professional install the mount. 
This mounting procedure was for drywall. If you're mounting it to concrete, the procedure is nearly identical. You'll just need to get some concrete wall anchors instead. You can now place the frame on the mount in whichever orientation you choose. You'll notice a reasonably thick white bezel between the screen and outer frame, similar to what you'd see on a traditional art frame. The frame also seems pretty well built and the finishing is nearly flawless. I can't find anything to complain about. If you don't want to mount the canvas to a wall, you can always lean it against a surface or put it on an easel instead. Once the frame is mounted, plug the frame into a wall outlet. One of the issues you'll immediately notice is how to conceal the power cable. You can do this in a couple of ways. The simplest seems to be to put a potted plant or a decorative item right below the frame to help somewhat conceal the wire. You can also use a self-adhesive cable raceway like this one to neaten the installation. I'll leave a link to the raceway I recommend right below the video. The third and most expensive technique is to have a professional cut into the drywall and put permanently conceal the cable. Which option you choose depends on what look you expect and where you mount it. Let's now get the Mural app on your phone or tablet. It's available for both iOS and Android. Open the app up and it'll ask you to create an account. Go through the prompts and create an account. This account will allow you to access all your Canvas 2s from any device. Once you're done with account creation, tap on the control icon on the bottom right hand corner of the app. It now asks you to add the canvas you would like to connect to. Make sure your Canvas 2 is powered on and that the QR code is visible on screen. Tap on the connect button. It now opens up a camera window. Move the camera window over the QR code and it rapidly scans the code and begins connecting to the device. It then wants to know what Wi-Fi network you'd like to connect the canvas to. Pick your Wi-Fi network, enter the password, and allow it to connect to the Wi-Fi network. Once it connects, you'll see the control console appear on your app. Let's test the connection out to make sure that the app can send images to the Canvas 2. Tap on the playlist icon on the bottom of the app. Scroll all the way down till you see the sampler option. Tap on that. These are sample pieces of art and art playlists that Netgear provides for free. Scroll down to the sampler playlists option. Tap the see all option. Tap on any playlist you want to try and then tap on the send to canvas button. You should immediately see the playlist begin to load on the canvas. Now if you jump back into the control menu on the bottom right hand corner of the app, you can use the control buttons to navigate the playlist. The left and right buttons allow you to scroll through the playlist. The up button brings up a temporary information box with information about the image you're looking at. You can always customize this text for all your own art or photos that you upload to the device. Swiping down brings up an on-screen menu. You can also adjust the screen brightness of the device using the slider on top. This section of the app also allows you to adjust several different settings on the canvas. For example, you have the option of scheduling sleep and wake times for the canvas too. You can change the orientation settings, the duration of time each image displays for, and how the image fills the screen. You can even change the letterboxing background color for the image. Quite an impressive and well thought out settings menu. I have to say, in testing the app, I'm very impressed by how smoothly everything works and how rapidly you can send images or playlists to the canvas or change settings. A really refined experience. At this point, you should be seeing the sample playlist displayed on your Canvas 2. And to be quite honest, I'm really impressed by the display quality of this 1080p display. It has an almost matte finish, which doesn't attract stray reflections. The colors are also very vividly reproduced and the images appear very sharp, even up close. The screen brightness is really good and more than adequate even for a very well-lit room or studio. It's almost hard to tell from a distance that this is a digital screen and not a work on canvas. I'm also impressed that the image remains very consistent from almost any viewing angle in the room. Now Netgear has also put quite a bit of effort into compiling a massive collection of art for the Canvas 2. You can either purchase a membership that allows you to access this collection or even purchase some works and collections outright. There really is quite a bit of variety. In addition to that collection, you can also showcase your own art and photographs. To do this, make sure the images you want to display are on your phone or tablet. It's best if the images are in the JPEG format. Tap on the camera icon on the bottom of the Mural app. This opens up all the images on your device. You can either select a single image or select multiple images using the select option on the top right. Once you select the image or images you want, tap the upload button. 
It now asks whether you'd like to add those images to an existing playlist or create a new playlist. Creating a new playlist is probably the best option when displaying a collection of art or photos. Once the images are uploaded to a new playlist, you can access these images by tapping on the profile icon. When you tap on any of these playlists, you will find an option to send to Canvas. Tap on that and the app magically sends these images to the Canvas 2 and the images display on screen. Now this also means that you can send images to your Canvas from almost anywhere in the world and folks back home will magically see your images appear on screen. You can also display images on the Canvas 2 using the SD card slot on the side. The Canvas 2 also has a gesture sensor on the front, which allows you to swipe through the images on your device by waving your hand near the middle of the bottom part of the white bezel. It works, but isn't all that useful in my opinion. You may however find it useful in your application. So should you get the Canvas 2? Well, if you're looking for a large digital photo or art frame, there really is nothing better out there currently. The Canvas 2 is very simple to install, displays images exceptionally well, and the Mural app works almost flawlessly, making the entire experience of displaying images simple, pain-free, and elegant. It's well worth the price and a great investment for your living room or studio. If you're looking to buy one, I'll leave a link right below the video. Feel free to check that out. If you own one of these, I'd love to hear about your experience. Leave me a comment below. Hope this review has been useful. If it has, please hit that like button and subscribe for more reviews, unboxings, and how-to videos. Thanks for watching and see you on the next one.